All right, I'm going to be showing you what have we learned about the M. LaHart website. Yes, the navigation changes that you are working on are correct, and that's the, the better way to organize your navigation, uh, you know, based on these schools and, and a better drop down because a lot, there's too much stuff going on right here. We've definitely found out that not that many people have clicked on financing available, and people are wanting to use the search. Also, it's our hypothesis that you should make these buttons more apparent. People want to actually click on, you want to tell people where to click. So making the buttons more apparent will get more people to actually click on those. Because right now, most people are just clicking on the images and that's great, but you should tell people more about where to go and what best offers are. So let's quickly take a look at some of the heat maps that we've learned about. Let's start with the homepage. The homepage see received almost six six hundred visitors. This particular category page, one hundred seventy three, and this uh, category page, one hundred ninety one. So those are the three pages we'll look at because we'll learn the most data from them. Take a look at the heat map. Just digging in a little bit further. Pop this open, and we can see where people are now clicking on the page based on our our sample size. So majority of people arrive here and they want to learn about search. They click on university shops or they click on an individual school. You know, that's what we assumed is happening. You know, so search is definitely very important. But look, not that many people are clicking on learn more or what's going on over here. If these are your best selling items, then you want to have clear call to actions. And just like I said here as well, if you want people to get to these, these options, make these buttons so that it's clear that people can actually um, contact you or uh, sorry learn more about these items the the chat people want to, to chat with you so I would certainly recommend you know having live chat across your site uh, a lot more and also people want to learn more about you and contact you and about FAQs so with all e-commerce sites people want to know about shipping returns uh, money back guarantees you know so I think you need a better way to show how people can shop with confidence a little bit better let's dig into some of the other pages back up here and we'll go to this category page Harvard pop in and see the heat maps we can see on this page that a lot of people are clicking on these images but none of these images are actually clickable. So you want to make these images clickable. You know, make as much clickable as possible. Find out where, you know, they are, uh, where people are clicking and, you know, kind of use that as leverage for, to get more people to the right places that you want. I know that some of these are your most popular items. So why aren't these? kind of you know highlighted as best sellers having a burst there that says best seller getting more people to those areas is, is very important as you scroll down you know no one's clicking on a lot of this stuff down here because it's just not clear people have banner blindness and no one's clicking on any of this stuff because there's no clear call to actions if you want to get people to sign up for your email opt-in then give them something of value sign up now that's not incentive enough in the catalog, you know, this rotating thing, that may mean something to you, but that doesn't mean a lot. I don't know what's going on there. Inter view our interactive catalog. Um, th there's a lot of opportunity to, to fix this page as well. And lastly, let's take a look at our last heat map. Okay, looking at the last category page, as, as it loads here, we'll see where people are cl clicking. And as with any e-commerce site, people love to browse and click on, on the items and products. And you're going to see that a lot. I don't know why this is taking so long. Let me refresh it again. You're going to see that a lot in e-commerce. You want to really get people to click on the things that you want them to click on. You know, digging deep into this page, you know, yes, people may arrive here and then need to se select a school. But... You know, don't they already kind of do that on the previous page? But um, so I think you need to find a better way to. Yes, most people are clicking on this right now and your navigation changes are going to solve that problem. But I think the biggest opportunity is in the main feature image right here, getting putting a clear call to action, maybe having some type of sale or uh, create some type of scarcity, some, some limited uh, time pieces or something. But 
getting more people to click on um, an individual item or an individual image, I think, is what's missing on your site. Also, across your whole site, it's missing the ability to log in. Like, if I go and I add something to a cart and I retur return, there's no way for me to get back to my, my shopping cart unless I click this little link right there that's, that's hidden in the middle of everything else. So adding back the login and the view cart options is definitely important because I think people certainly uh, get lost uh, on your site for sure. Let's just quick, quickly take a look at all this. So if I leave this page and I go somewhere else, how do I get back to my cart? You're missing a huge opportunity to just get people to complete what their original sale was. There's a lot of opportunity and we'll be summing it up in the additional conversion tips document. I'm Alex Harris. If you need anything or have any questions, please email me alex at alexdesigns.com. Learn to improve your sales and online leads with masterwebsiteconversions.com.